Hey everybody, Andrew Morgan here with Bryson Medlock of the ConnectWise Cyber Research Unit. Bryson, how are you? I'm doing great, Andrew. How are you? I'm, do I'm doing well, Bryson. I just wanted to bring you on and get this out to as many MSPs and MSSPs as possible. Um, you're doing some fantastic work um, leading a discussion in MSP Geek and uh, a bunch of other areas on the Microsoft MS HTML exploit. This is CVE 2021-40444. And uh, I'll put that in the post. Bryson, talk to us about what is going on here. Why is this so um, critical right now? And what can people do? Okay. I'm um, sure. So this is a remote code execution vulnerability in uh, MS HTML, also known as Trident. Basically, it's the Internet Explorer engine that renders HTML uh, in, in Windows. So essentially, any application, uh, definitely anything Microsoft's written uh, that renders HTML is using this MS HTML, MS HTML .dll, uh, but it's also a library that other applications could use. Um, you know, like Skype uses it, which I guess that's a Microsoft product now, but there's, there's other applications as well. Anybody who's using like Visual Studio to write an application that renders HTML is using the same thing. Uh, so it's it's definitely more than just vulnerable Office documents. Uh, so the, the original advisory that came out from Microsoft earlier this week on uh, Tuesday, I think, um, they gave some instructions on disabling ActiveX controls or disabling the installation of ActiveX controls uh, in order to help protect against the, the exploit. However, since then, some researchers have found additional ways to exploit it. Uh, it doesn't have to be an Office document. I think one of the uh, most frightening examples that we've seen was someone <coughs> using an uh, RTF file uh, and just viewing it in preview mode in Windows Explorer. And that actually triggered the exploit as well. So the, an attacker can basically run whatever code they want. Uh, and the reason why it's concerning is that this, this is a an, an, this is a vulnerability that's actively being exploited and has been for about a month now, even though we just now learned about it. Um, the the current active campaign that we've seen and we've gotten some samples from uh, it is in a Word document and it's uh, installing Cobalt Strike, which is a uh, um, adversary tool that they can use to basically just take control of your system and do whatever they want. Uh, and, and now the additional research has been done and it has gotten some more press and more people know about it. We expect to see more exploits and more things going coming soon. Wow. And what can people do, Bryson? Is it just being vigilant on a zero day right now? Like what, what recommendation would you have for MSP specifically and then what, for what they should be telling their customers? Sure. So there, there are some workarounds recommended by Microsoft, uh, specifically, like I mentioned, disabling the ActiveX controls. Um, that will help with the campaign that we've witnessed, but it won't completely protect you from the actual exploit. Um, the, the best thing I can recommend it right now is being diligent. A lot of vendors are working on detection. Uh, there's a few things you can look for. We've, we've added some stuff. If, if you're a uh, ConnectWise customer and use Perch. We, we uh, if you install the CRU collection in the marketplace, we do have some signatures, or we have one signature in there uh, that that should help detect uh, if somebody actually, you know, runs one of these documents that that are vulnerable. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, I think the main thing is just let everybody know. Uh, about what's going on, have your users be extra diligent about what documents they open. Uh, th this isn't a um, an exploit that someone can execute remotely without inter without somebody interacting. So it's it's got to be someone's got to send you a document, and you've got to do something to that. You know whether it's opening it or again, even if it's just looked looked at in preview mode. Um, that, that will exploit as well, but still somebody has to do something. So if you're just extra careful about what you documents you get, uh, you know, watch out for those phishing emails. Um, I, I think you, you should be okay, but it, it's, it, it's still early on. Uh, we're, we're still figuring out what can be done with this exploit and we don't really have an ETA yet from Microsoft and when a patch will be available. 
Got it. Um, fantastic, Bryson. I really appreciate you um, giving you know your perspective and you know the fact that I, I can I can tell you've been working night and day on this in the forums, uh, helping the MSPs uh, be diligent about what's happening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll get this out there. All right. Thanks, Andrew.